Nucleic Acid Sequence, Wikipedia Article Audio A nucleic acid sequence is a succession of letters that indicate the order of nucleotides within a DNA or RNA molecule. By convention, sequences are usually presented from the 5 end to the 3 end. For DNA, the sense strand is used. Because nucleic acids are normally linear polymers, specifying the sequence is equivalent to defining the covalent structure of the entire molecule. For this reason, the nucleic acid sequence is also termed the primary structure. Nucleotides Notation Biological Significance Sequence Determination Digital Representation Sequence Analysis Genetic Testing Sequence Alignment Sequence Motifs Long Range Correlations Sequence Entropy The sequence has capacity to represent information. Biological deoxyribonucleic acid represents the information which directs the functions of a living thing. Nucleic acids also have a secondary structure and tertiary structure. Primary structure is sometimes mistakenly referred to as primary sequence. Conversely, there is no parallel concept of secondary or tertiary sequence. Nucleic acids consist of a chain of linked units called nucleotides. Each nucleotide consists of three subunits, a phosphate group and a sugar make up the backbone of the nucleic acid strand, and attached to the sugar is one of a set of nucleobases. The nucleobases are important in base pairing of strands to form higher level secondary and tertiary structures such as the famed double helix. The possible letters are A, C, G, and T, representing the four nucleotide bases of a DNA strand adenine, cytosine, guanine, thymine covalently linked to a phosphodiester backbone. In the typical case, the sequences are printed abutting one another without gaps, as in the sequence A Ajgtguk, read left to right in the 5 to 3 direction. With regards to transcription, a sequence is on the coding strand if it has the same order as the transcribed RNA. One sequence can be complementary to another sequence, meaning that they have the base on each position in the complementary and in the reverse order. For example, the complementary sequence to TTAC is GTAA. If one strand of the double-stranded DNA is considered the sense strand, then the other strand, considered the anti-sense strand, will have the complementary sequence to the sense strand. Comparing and determining percent difference between two nucleotide sequences While A, T, C, and G represent a particular nucleotide at a position, there are also letters that represent ambiguity which are used when more than one kind of nucleotide could occur at that position. The rules of the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry are as follows. These symbols are also valid for RNA, except with U replacing T. Apart from adenine, cytosine, guanine, thymine, and uracil, DNA and RNA also contain bases that have been modified after the nucleic acid chain has been formed. In DNA, the most common modified base is 5-methylcytidine. In RNA, there are many modified bases, including pseudouridine, dihydrouridine, inosine, ribothymidine, and 7-methylguanosine. Hyposanthine and xanthine are two of the many bases created through mutagen presence, both of them through deamination. Hyposanthine is produced from adenine, xanthine from guanine. Similarly, deamination of cytosine results in uracil. In biological systems, 
nucleic acids contain information which is used by a living cell to construct specific proteins. The sequence of nucleobuses on a nucleic acid strand is translated by cell machinery into a sequence of amino acids making up a protein strand. Each group of three bases, called a codon, corresponds to a single amino acid, and there is a specific genetic code by which each possible combination of three bases corresponds to a specific amino acid. The central dogma of molecular biology outlines the mechanism by which proteins are constructed using information contained in nucleic acids. DNA is transcribed into mRNA molecules, which travels to the ribosome where the mRNA is used as a template for the construction of the protein strand. Since nucleic acids can bind to molecules with complementary sequences, there is a distinction between sense sequences which code for proteins, and the complementary antisense sequence which is by itself non-functional, but can bind to the sense strand. DNA sequencing is the process of determining the nucleotide sequence of a given DNA fragment. The sequence of the DNA of a living thing encodes the necessary information for that living thing to survive and reproduce. Therefore, determining the sequence is useful in fundamental research into why and how organisms live, as well as in applied subjects. Because of the importance of DNA to living things, knowledge of a DNA sequence may be useful in practically any biological research. For example, in medicine it can be used to identify, diagnose, and potentially develop treatments for genetic diseases. Similarly, research into pathogens may lead to treatments for contagious diseases. Biotechnology is a burgeoning discipline, with the potential for many useful products and services. RNA is not sequenced directly. Instead, it is copied to a DNA by reverse transcriptase, and this DNA is then sequenced. Current sequencing methods rely on the discriminatory ability of DNA polymerases, and therefore can only distinguish four bases. An inosine is read as AG, and 5-methylcytosine is read as AC. With current technology, it is difficult to sequence small amounts of DNA, as the signal is too weak to measure. This is overcome by polymerase chain reaction amplification. Once a nucleic acid sequence has been obtained from an organism, it is stored in silico in digital format. Digital genetic sequences may be stored in sequence databases, be analyzed, be digitally altered and be used as templates for creating new actual DNA using artificial gene synthesis. Digital genetic sequences may be analyzed using the tools of bioinformatics to attempt to determine its function. The DNA in an organism's genome can be analyzed to diagnose vulnerabilities to inherited diseases, and can also be used to determine a child's paternity or a person's ancestry. Normally, every person carries two variations of every gene, one inherited from their mother, the other inherited from their father. The human genome is believed to contain around 20,000 to 25,000 genes. In addition to studying chromosomes to the level of individual genes, genetic testing in a broader sense includes biochemical tests for the possible presence of genetic diseases, or mutant forms of genes associated with increased risk of developing genetic disorders. Genetic testing identifies changes in chromosomes, genes, or proteins. Usually, testing is used to find changes that are associated with inherited disorders. The results of a genetic test can confirm or rule out a suspected genetic condition or help determine a person's chance of developing or passing on a genetic disorder. Several hundred genetic tests are currently in use and more are being developed. In bioinformatics, 
A sequence alignment is a way of arranging the sequences of DNA, RNA, or protein to identify regions of similarity that may be due to functional, structural, or evolutionary relationships between the sequences. If two sequences in an alignment share a common ancestor, mismatches can be interpreted as point mutations and gaps as insertion or deletion mutations introduced in one or both lineages in the time since they diverged from one another. In sequence alignments of proteins, the degree of similarity between amino acids occupying a particular position in the sequence can be interpreted as a rough measure of how conserved a particular region or sequence motif is among lineages. The absence of substitutions, or the presence of only very conservative substitutions in a particular region of the sequence, suggest that this region has structural or functional importance. Although DNA and RNA nucleotide bases are more similar to each other than are amino acids, the conservation of base pairs can indicate a similar functional or structural role. Computational phylogenetics makes extensive use of sequence alignments in the construction and interpretation of phylogenetic trees, which are used to classify the evolutionary relationships between homologous genes represented in the genomes of divergent species. The degree to which sequences in a query set differ is qualitatively related to the sequence's evolutionary distance from one another. Roughly speaking, High sequence identity suggests that the sequences in question have a comparatively young most recent common ancestor, while low identity suggests that the divergence is more ancient. This approximation, which reflects the molecular clock hypothesis that a roughly constant rate of evolutionary change can be used to extrapolate the elapsed time since two genes first diverged assumes that the effects of mutation and selection are constant across sequence lineages. Therefore, it does not account for possible difference among organisms or species in the rates of DNA repair or the possible functional conservation of specific regions in a sequence. More statistically accurate methods allow the evolutionary rate on each branch of the phylogenetic tree to vary thus producing better estimates of coalescence times for genes. Frequently the primary structure encodes motifs that are of functional importance. Some examples of sequence motifs are, the c d and h slash aca boxes of SNORNAs, SM binding site found in spliceosomal RNAs such as U1, U2, U4, U5, U6, U12 and U3, the Scheindal Garneau sequence, the Kozak consensus sequence, and the RNA polymerase 3 terminator. Peng found the existence of long range correlations in the non coding base pair sequences of DNA. In contrast, such correlations seem not to appear in coding DNA sequences. In bioinformatics, a sequence entropy also known as sequence complexity or information profile, is a numerical sequence providing a quantitative measure of the local complexity of a DNA sequence, independently of the direction of processing. The manipulations of the information profiles enable the analysis of the sequences using alignment-free techniques, such as for example in motif and rearrangements detection. AATCCGC tag, AAACCCT tag, given the 210 nucleotide sequences, line them up and compare the differences between them. Calculate the percent similarity by taking the number of different DNA bases divided by the total number of nucleotides. In the above case, there are three differences in the 10 nucleotide sequence. Therefore, Divide 7 tenths to get the 70% similarity and subtract that from 100% to get a 30% difference. A equals adenine, C equals cytosine, G equals guanine, T equals thymine, R equals GA, 
y equals t c, k equals g t, m equals a c s equals g c, w equals a t, b equals g t c d equals g a t, h equals a c t, v equals g c a, n equals a g c t.